mean, median, mode, and range. So the mean, median, mode, and range are four things we can look at to help analyze our data. So to do it, let's look at a data set. One, one, three, four, five, 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 eight, and 13. Now, the four, first let's look at the mean. The mean is just the average of all the scores. To find the average, you're going to have to add up every score, then divide by the number of scores. So in this case, we need to do 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 8 plus 13 divided by how many scores there are. Well, let's count them up. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 scores. So we'll divide it all by 9. Adding all the top gives us 45 divided by 9, which is just 5. So the average of all those scores is 5, and another word for the average is the mean. All right, what about the median? The median is the middle score. So to work out the middle score, we can cross off data on each end as long as the scores are ascending, which they are here. They're going from smallest to biggest. This only works if they're arranged like that. So we cross off one from the front, one from the back, 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 and now we can see that the middle score is five, or the median is another name for it. The mode's easy. It's just the most common score. And here, the most common score that occurs the most is five, because there's three of them. No other score appears uh, three times. So the mode is also five. The range is also easy. The range is just the highest score minus the lowest score. The highest score is 13, the lowest score is 1, 13 minus 1 is 12. Alright, let's look at that same data set, but this time we're just going to add on one extra number and see what happens. 5, 8, 13. And we're going to add on 14. And let's try finding the median this time. So remember, the median is the middle score. So one from the front, one from the back, front, back, front, back, front, back. But now there's two in the middle. And you're going to end up with two scores in the middle if you have an even amount of data. Remember last time we had nine, and this time we added on an extra one, so we had ten scores. And whenever you have an even number of scores, you're going to end up with two scores in the middle. And when this happens, you just add those scores together and divide it by two. You're finding the average of the two middle ones. So we're going to have ten divided by two which is fine. So also, if the two numbers are the same, the median is just those numbers as well.